Hi everyone! You might have noticed the default option WooCommerce offers to show attributes in variable products is not really functional. But with our plugin, Yid Color Image and Label Variation Swatches for WooCommerce, you can use text labels, icons, images, and color swatches to show all types of options like colors, sizes, dimensions, patterns, and more. In this video, we're going to show you how to configure the plugin and how it works, but before we get into it, let me remind you we'll list the links to the plugin, documentation, and live demo in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out. And now, let's get to it. Right now, the plugin is not activated on this site because I want to show you how WooCommerce displays the attributes and variations. Let's see this product, for example. We don't see anything on the shop page, and let's go see this product. So here we have these two attributes to choose, color and size. You see for both attributes, we just have a drop down menu with text to choose the color and the size. No colors are shown, for example, to know the shade I'm buying. So it's not really functional. Once you select the attributes, you just click on add to cart. As you can see, user experience is not the best. Now let's activate our plugin Yield color image and label variation swatches for WooCommerce to see how these options would look with it. Let's go to the dashboard to plugins and let's look for the plugin. I'm going to activate it and now let's go back to the shop, refresh and now you can see we have attributes here. These have already been configured on this side and if I go to the product page, you can see now we have swatches for the colors and these labels for the sizes. For example, here I have a purple swatch. I see the tooltip with the label and if I click on it, I get the variation main image and the gallery here. So the way attributes are displayed has drastically changed. Now let's go to the dashboard to go through the plugin settings. Let's go to ID, color, image and label variation swatches. So here's the plugin panel and we're going to find these tabs, but the ones we're interested in right now are general options and customization. Let's see the options in the general options tab first. Here we're going to be able to configure the plugin behavior. In the first section, variations in shop and archive pages, we have an option to show variations as separate products. This is useful if you want to show customers the variations right when they access the shop. We can enable this option and we're going to see these two other options, high parent products. For example, we were just seeing the sneakers, which contains the three variations. If I leave this option enabled, this means that only the variations are going to be shown as separate products and I'm not going to see the main product that contains all the variations in the shop and archive pages. Let's disable this and then you can also order products by ID. Let's save these options to see how these work. Back to the shop, refresh. Now here we have each variation as a separate product. And this is the parent product. Since I disabled the option to hide the parent product, I can see it right here with the variations available. If I had kept that option enabled, then this product would not be visible, only the variations. Same for this product, only the variations. Now, if I click on this product variation, I'm going to be directed to the product page that contains all of the product variations. So to the variable product page, you can also choose which variations to show as a separate product in the shop. For example, if I click on edit product and scroll down to product data variations and expand these variations, we're going to see this option show in archive pages. If both this option and the option to show variations as separate products are enabled, then we're going to see this variation as a separate product on the shop page like we just did. Let's uncheck this option for the purple variation and update. Okay, now let's go back to the shop. So since I just unchecked that option for the purple variation, that variation is not shown here. Only these two plus the variable product. Back to the dashboard. Before moving on, let me remind you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's continue with the video. 
let's disable this option to keep only the main products on the shop page, not individual variations. Now the second option allows users to select the attributes on the shop and archive pages. Let's save the options again, back to the site, and so I can choose the variation right here on the shop page, just by clicking here on purple and on any size, and then I can just click here on add to cart. Back to the dashboard. If I disable this option and save, back to the shop, refresh, I do not get to see or choose the variations here on the shop page. I need to go into the product page to select the variation. Back, I'm going to enable this option again. Then we have an option to select the position of the variations form in archive pages. So we can choose to show it before the add to cart button or after it. Then you can also enable Ajax to handle variations in archive pages. And there's also an option to customize the add to cart label. If I enable this, I can edit the add to cart label here. Then we have the variations in product pages section. Here you can choose the variations layout, which right now is separate lines. Let's see this, save options, back to the product page. Okay, so here we have the attributes in separate lines. We have the name here and terms below, same for sizes, name and terms below. Let's go back. If I choose inline layout instead, save options, back to the site, refresh. There we go. The terms are right next to the name. Same here back to the dashboard then we have an option to show the attribute description below each attribute on the single product page the option to replace the product image on hover so when the mouse hovers over a specific attribute you can replace the main product image keep in mind this will only work for products that have just one attribute per variation for example if i choose this one this one just has one attribute per variation, so if I hover over the colors, the main product image changes. Back to the dashboard. And then we have an option to show custom attributes on the additional information tab. This is in case you want to show the custom attribute style also in that tab. Now I'm going to save options here and we're going to go back to the shop. So we saw variations that have attributes created with labels and color swatches but we can also use images to create these attributes. And you might have noticed that these attributes can also behave differently. If I hover over the color swatches here, the tooltip just shows the label, but the image doesn't change. If I hover over these image attributes, we see the image as a tooltip, and we also see that the product image has changed. And if I hover over this color swatch right here, this is a color swatch with two different colors and we have a tooltip with the image and the label and the product image also changes. Let's see how to configure this behavior. Let's go back to the dashboard to products attributes. So once the plugin is activated, we can decide when creating or editing an attribute, if it will be a default selectable menu or if it will be a color picker with color swatches, an image type attribute, or a label type attribute. You can create the attributes as usual by adding the name, the slag, and then just clicking on add attribute. Once the attribute is created, you're going to see it added here as usual, and here you're going to see the type. For example, here we have the color attribute. Let's click on configure terms. And here we have all the terms created for this site. We have beige, dark gray, and light gray. So we have a two color swatch here, gold, green, and dark gray, and more. Let's create a new two color swatch for this attribute. I'm going to enter the name here, red slash pink. Here we can choose if it's a single color swatch, a bicolor swatch, or if we want to add an image instead. This is useful in case you want to show patterns or texture. I'm going to choose by color and I'm going to select the colors here. There we go. We can also use the name winter here for the tooltip. If we don't choose to use it for a tooltip, we can enter the tooltip text here. Let's check that option again. We can also add a tooltip image here, like for the watches or the lipstick. 
and you can enter the slug in the description. I'm going to click on add new color and that's it. Now I have a new bike color swatch right here. Let's go back to attributes. Let's see an image type attribute. Now we have this leather color attribute. Let's click on configure terms and we have three different colors, black, brown and cream. Let's edit this one black. So here we have the name. This name was not used for the tooltip. We have an image added for this specific term and the tooltip text instead of being a text is this code to show the image. We have a tooltip image here. No image has been selected, but if you want to replace the product image on the shop and archive pages, you can use this option to use the attribute image or upload an image here. So if I go back to the shop and scroll down, here I have the jacket, here I have the leather color attribute. And when I hover over the black color, the tooltip shows an image because that's what we have configured in the term. We have all the colors here. And if I click on the product, we can see the same tooltip with the images instead of text. This way the customer can see the product variations available without even having to select the variation. Let's go back to the shop. Last thing we want to show you, let's go see the sneakers again. Okay, we're going to edit this product again and scroll down. So here in product data attributes, we have the colors that we have configured in the attributes section. We have beige, gray, and purple. These are used for the variations right here. But we also have the attribute style section which is where you can customize the attributes added to the product. If I expand here, I have the three colors, beige, purple, and gray, and I can change the color for this specific product. So if I click here and I click on override attribute options, I'm going to be able to change the swatch type, the value, the tooltip text, and the tooltip image. But this will only be applied to this product. The global attribute options will be the same for the rest of the products. Let's change this color here. This way you can edit the shade to match the real color. Let's update. Now let's go see the product. And now we have a different beige color here. Okay, so that's how our plugin works. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.